Hello and welcome to our virtual tour of our 2016 Toyota Corolla Ascent. So a little bit about us first here at Pacific Toyota and Lexus. I'm standing at one of two of our pre-owned vehicle yards here in Cairns where we always have over 160 vehicles in stock and go through about 120 vehicles each and every month. Now we do offer obviously Toyota Finance there, flexible finance options in-house are available. As you can see, we do have quite a different arrangement of vehicles. I am based our yard here in the city though. As you go out of town along Mulgrave, you will come across a brand new part of Toyota and Lexus with parts and services out the back and obviously our second pre-owned vehicle yard as well. Throughout the video though, I will be going over the Corolla here in complete detail, basically pointing out any blemishes that may appear at first point of sale that you'd obviously be looking for yourself. So we'll do start down around the front end here. As we can see, no scratching or anything on the hubcaps, no gutter rash, which is good. Excellent amount of tire tread. The things I want to be pointing out, little minor stone chips as we go around. Yeah, obviously these things are to be expected being a pre-owned vehicle. So as you can see, this one does have a couple of stone chips around the front. And obviously the common things on low vehicles, if there's any gutter rash underneath, which this one looks pretty clean and tidy. Similar over this side. Again, just a couple of minor imperfections. But as we can see, nothing major in the way of damage on the vehicle. Across the bonnet, no major dings or dents. But again, just those minor little imperfections that are to be expected on a pre-owned vehicle. Now with most of these uh, little stone chips, they can obviously be brush touched up as well. But as we have a look down the passenger side here, just trying to give you a really good angle of the body. Just so you can see there's no ripples or blemishes. Uh, but obviously covering each panel as we go. Yeah, we're down the passion side again, just a couple of minor imperfections that, like I said, can be brush touched. Now, this vehicle has just come on the yard, so those sort of things like brush touches do get done before uh, they actually leave the yard for delivery. But as we make our way back down that passenger side, just trying to give you a really good angle of the body. As we can see, overall very clean and tidy, no major damages. So we make our way around the back end here. Obviously the uh, imperfections around the back are things like luggage markings along the bottom here. Just a little scratch there, but as we can see, very clean and tidy, which is always good. Yeah, obviously it does also come with your built-in reversing camera there, which is good. Uh, but as we can see in the back end, very clean and tidy. No real imperfections to be pointed out, which is always nice. We'll make our way down the driver's side now. You can see a nice straight body, but again covering each panel for you as we go. Again, no imperfections on, on the wheels there, which is always good. Obviously on the driver's door, you do get a few markings down on the inside there. Being the most commonly used door, it is knocked up a little bit more, but as we can see, not that noticeable and no real major damages. Well, if we make our way back down that driver's side, just again trying to give you a really good angle of the body. Beautiful. So as we can see, as a whole, very straight and tidy. Uh, across the windscreen, there's no uh, chips or cracks. It has gone through, it's roadworthy. And obviously all vehicles are registered as well. As we make our way along the roof, you can see there's no hail damage, dings or dents. Nice straight roof, which is always good. Uh, now we go through the interior for you. If you start in the boot here, pop that open. So being a little hatchback, they do actually come with quite a fair bit of boot space still. If you do need, obviously, baby seats, you've got your three tie-downs along each seat now. Obviously, you've got your spare wheel, jack and tools in underneath. But as we can see, the interior, very clean, 
Very tidy, no cuts, tears, burns. Obviously, you've still got your parcel shelf there as well. Beautiful. We go inside, your door cut. Excellent condition, no major marks. Uh, no scuff marks down along the bottom, which is always good. So as we go through the upholstery inside here, uh, obviously we want to be looking for cuts, tears, burns, uh, stain marks, anything like that. Beautiful. As we can tell, very good condition. Same can be said for the roof. Excellent. We'll now jump in the driver's seat. So obviously on the driver's door, you do have your electric windows there. And obviously the locking. It does come with a full set of keys, which is always good. But we'll do a start up. So on the right hand side, you've obviously got for your mirrors and the light adjustment. Someone's been having a bit of fun in here. Uh, on the steering wheel, you've got your cruise control on the right and the display button, which changes through the settings up here. Beautiful. As we can see, done just under 40,000 Ks. So for six year old, nice low kilometers, which is good. Uh, on the left hand side, you've got all your controls for the head unit and for the Bluetooth once connected. And you've got a nice large screen there, with, which is all touch control as well. As you can see, mul multiple different features throughout. Um, but not only that, it's where that reversing camera also shows up. Nice large display at the back. Just below there, we've obviously got our air conditioning controls. And a little compartment down below, it still has our 12 volt, our built-in AUX and USB. Oh, that tucks away nice and tidy. As you can see, it's a little automatic. And you've obviously got your traction control and sports controls just there as well. So we have a look in here, we've got all the books, which is good. Obviously the main one people want to know about is the service side of things. Beautiful, as we can see there, it's up to date with the services. Uh, next one's actually due at 50,000 Ks, which is always good, so. Full service history. But as we can see in the front, like the rest of the vehicle, very clean and tidy. No major damages, no fading or cracking along the dash there, which is good. Last but not least, we'll have a quick look underneath the bonnet. As we can see underneath, very clean and tidy, uh, no red dust, not like you'd expect any, uh, but no major knocks or squirrels or belts, anything like that. Uh, that was our virtual tour of our 2016 Toyota Corolla Ascent. I hope you enjoyed and look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.